This is the Market Outlook video for the week of January 12, 2015. I am your host, Michael Saul, also known as Tiny, taking a look at the S&P futures, 1030 at night on Sunday. You can see they are down a buck and a quarter. Actually looking at it Sunday the 11th. Let's take a look at the IVV. So I'm using the IVV because the SPY is screwed up with this tick from last year, so whatever. I'm just going to use the IVV here, and you can see the middle of last week, the market had a nice bounce. We came just shy of the 78.6% retracement of this last swing down. So if we get over that, it is suggestive that we get over this high and hit a new high. But it's not all that clear that we're going to get there right here and now. We do have a gap that may want to be filled. Also, this last low may want to be tested, or even this low, or the 200-day moving average. <clears throat> Overall, I'm not bearish. I'm just not really confident that the lo this low is in and that we're just going to V-reverse like we did here and here and back here, etc. All right, so we have to pay attention here, and I'll tell you why in a couple of minutes. Diamonds look the same. The Russell. The Russell has a wide coil. Don't really like these. I like them when they're tighter. But anyway, we can watch Friday's high and low uh, to see what we do. And that's really what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be looking at the range from Friday and see if we get initiative or responsive action when we get to it. All right. So, I mean, eventually we'll get to those highs and lows. We may not get there Monday, but if we don't get there Monday, we'll get to Tuesday or Wednesday, etc. So that's what I'm looking for, how we're acting around Friday's range. Now, the Q's dropped out of their triangle, came back in, and are kissing the, the bottom trend line. That's usually a bearish sign, okay, but we are in a strong uptrend over the 200-day moving average. The NASDAQ has been lagging, though, for the, the last couple of weeks. So we want to pay attention here. Um, if we can get back above it and cross above this top line, then the NASDAQ should continue to move to multi-year highs until eventually, I believe, they're going to hit the all-time highs, okay? Mid-caps, Similar, a wide coil, you know, not looking great. So semiconductors look kind of like the NASDAQ. My favorite semi is Intel. It's not a wild one. Everybody's looking for these big wild movers, but it's in a really nice uptrend. Looks like it's in a nice bull flag. Of course, it's my favorite right now, but I'm still waiting for confirmation. I'm not just going to guess that it's going to go higher here. All right, Klatenka looks okay. It did hold the 50-day moving average. How about, oops, wrong stock, sorry. NVLS, I always type after clock, I guess, from back in the day. Uh, ADI got a bounce off of the 50-day moving average. It's looking for NVIDIA, not NVLS. You can see here we broke down out of this, whatever this was, triangle pattern, whatever it is. Got the bounce just shy of the 200-day. Now we're into the moving averages. See what they do there. How about Maxim? There, yeah, Maxim's acting well. Maxim came up to the moving averages, based there and broke out, overbought a little bit, but, I mean, if it can pull back and hold, then maybe it can get through this gap and, and try to go to highs. Now, this is my problem with being just, okay, the market's just going to go back to highs here. The banks, they're not really acting that great. They had a sharp move down last week, Monday, Tuesday. They um, relieved some of it, but then... I mean, on, you know, that just really wasn't a nice day on Friday, back below the 200-day moving average here. And a lot of these stocks, which have earnings coming up this week, not really looking that great. Okay, we came up, looks like Bank of America wants to go lower, looks like Fargo wants to go lower, maybe test the 200-day moving average. Citigroup, right near the 200-day, JP Morgan, uh, how about like a Zion? Yeah, I mean, these, these aren't really looking good here at all, and... Uh, you know, that's uh, Bank of New York, Northern Trust. They all have this same pattern. Now, you know, let's just use Northern Trust. But like I just showed you, the other stocks are the same. Could we just go back above this and, and try to get a bounce going? Yeah, we could. But right now, it, it's not looking so great. And that, uh, you know, you have to wave the flag, the caution flag here. All right. That's my opinion. You have to slow down here with the market. Just, oh, well, we're just going to keep going back to new highs. It just doesn't work that way. All right? Sometimes we go into prolonged corrections. All right, here's the broker-dealer. Also doesn't look great. Came down, came up. I mean, I tried to draw this, this coil around it, but really, what happened? Looks like the banks pushed down. A couple of days relief, and now it looks like it may be resuming. All right, Goldman. I right, drew some lines in here from the Sunday night strategy session, so 
that's why you're getting that All right you got uh, whoops sorry sorry let's see you got this kind of move here here's Morgan I'm sorry with all these trend lines but it's because I was looking at him All right here's like Mason I like Mason looks actually okay All right, it's sitting on top of its moving averages here but it's just not not looking good here with the financials now can the market rise without the financials yeah, the financials don't have to lead, but I don't think we're going to see the financials uh, drop and see the market just go wee and just go higher. It usually doesn't work that way. Okay. All right, let's look at some other stocks. Let's just look at some glamour stocks. Yeah, Amazon, I think, mean, still looks bad. I you know, talked about this in the video and uh, and uh, in the daily email. You know, Amazon does not look great, and it looks like it wants to retest the lows. Netflix similar, Googleicious did test the low, got the reversal candle, but look at the next day, just I mean, really not acting good at all. Uh, Apple acting better, but really needs to get above the 115 handle. Priceline also really not acting well. A lot of these big tech stocks are not acting good. Surprised that. The market is, you know, that the NASDAQ is holding up as well as it, it, it is. And yeah, oh, well, Apple isn't isn't in trouble. Okay. But, I mean, really not looking that great. Caterpillar looks like it wants to go lower. And John Deere, which was looking good, looks like it is in a continuation pattern. Wait for confirmation. But it looks like that wants to go lower as well. AA kicks off earnings season. We've got to wait to see if it can get over the 50-day moving average, but I would watch to see what it does for earnings before I try to step up there. Uh, Microsoft, thank you, Jamie, for writing me. Um, she asked me, can I go over like some of the bigger stocks like Microsoft, Cisco? Yeah, because I do go over Intel. But you can see Microsoft here has this potential problem here. Right now it's at the 50-day, which is problem enough. Cisco, I mean, it doesn't look terrible. I mean, maybe it could be a possible head and shoulders here, whatever it is. It doesn't look terrible. It just doesn't look great. Okay, so that's Cisco. Uh, what else did I want to look at? Potash. Sloppy. Monsanto. Right up at a, uh, a trend line here. So we want to watch that. How about Visa? I'm right, still trying to hold on here. Visa's still acting well, and MasterCard is really not. So it's kind of a tale of two credit cards, as they say. Uh, AXP, yeah, sloppy as well. Okay, bonds. Yeah, bonds look like they want to go higher. I think they can go to 150 here. Uh, they look like they're in a nice looking pattern here. 150 minimum, maybe 151 and three, and three teeny tinies, 330 seconds. 151, 330 seconds perhaps. Uh, gold. Yeah, gold's on the bounce. Nice. See if it can get to the 200-day moving average. Got to get through that channel line first. Silver lagging, but look at this coil above the moving averages, except for the 200-day, it's still under, but this is a nice coil. You know, this is kind of what you want to see. You want to see if it can break out from here. All right, let's look at crude oil. It still looks like crap. Still looks like it wants to go lower. I uh, got a request for IGT. I'm sorry. I uh, got a couple requests I have to go over. I, I missed them, so I don't want to redo this video again. So I'm just going to. IGT, I really don't see anything here. Uh, and then ITW is sloppy. It's just. The rack space does look okay. It looks like it's hanging up, hanging tough up here. But again, wait for confirmation. All right, so we did bonds, gold, silver, oil. Sorry, I flipped back here. Uh, let's look at the grains. Wheat, not looking so sharp here. Beans, waiting for a move. And corn, waiting for a move. Right up the 50-day moving average, see which way it's going to go. But uh, I'm kind of disappointed in wheat because wheat was looking great. It was leading out, but now it's back below the, all the moving averages. Don't, all the key moving averages. I don't like that. Uh, coffee is on a bounce, but still looks lower to me. So if this rejection leads to something, look for coffee to trade back. And uh, sugar also looks crappy. So let's recap. I believe we are in an uptrend. I believe we will hit new highs. I just don't know if it's going to happen from here. Okay, the financials, we must keep our eyes on this. All right, if you are not a member of 
the email list. It behooves you to sign up at stockmarkettrendsx.com because I will be giving, uh, I send out a daily email. All right, I mean, the financials look like they're in trouble here. So unless they step up and just, you know, kind of brush off this weakness, I mean, we could be in for a more complex correction here. All right, so I'm going to give the bulls the benefit of the doubt, but I ain't going to fight the evidence. All right, if the financials are, are not bouncing and they're leading to the downside, then I am going to be watching here, and I'm going to be looking to see if there's any short-term uh, shorting possibilities. Okay, I'm not going to get biased to the short side, doesn't mean it can't be good for trades. All right, have a great training week. Questions, tiny at stockmarkettrendsx.com. Talk to you in the daily email or via the weekly video.